Hey everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well. Today we are testing a gadget that I am extremely, extremely excited about. Oh, because this is an electronic pie maker. Oh yes, uh, someone sent me a link to this. Um, I think it was about a month ago and it arrived. It's taken up a lot of room in my office so it gets priority. It is a ceramic stone coated nine inch family pie maker. Ceramic coated, perfect results, three year guarantee. And you see this delicious looking apple pie right there? That is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make an apple pie in a pie maker. Sometimes I get vibes where I'm thinking a gadget's gonna be good, it's gonna be bad. I, you just get this thing and for me, I feel like this is gonna smash it out the park. It just looks good but there's only one way to find out. Just before we start unboxing this then, having a little look and get cracking, uh, my good friend Stuart Ashen has successfully crowdfunded the sequel to his movie, Ashen's and the Quest for the Game Child, and I am in the sequel because I can act. There's a secret perk, uh, link is in the description down below. Uh, there's only a few spaces available where you can come to London and cook, uh, well, I'll cook for you, uh, but Stuart will be there as my sous chef and you can dine with us and have some chat and maybe even watch Star Wars or something like that. But if you fancy checking that link out, it'll be in the description below. And if I can do a thing in the video too, check that. All right. All right. See, even the way it's boxed, ooh. Safety and instruction manual. I'm skipping past all of the health and safety stuff and going straight for the recipes. Yeah, cherry pie, apple pie. I want to do a clear cherry pie. I might do that next week. Uh, pumpkin pie, steak and ale pie. You could do any pie you want. It's not an eye pie, as someone just tweeted me. That's very clever. But I like the way this is boxed. It, it feels it feels good, but at the same time, it could be like you know one of those generic green light, red light, which I think it has on it. Yes, it does. Is it just simply a sandwich toaster thing where they've changed the insert rather than being able to put bread in it, you've just put a pie crust in it? Or is that genius? As always, I'm not being paid uh, to do this review. If I ever, ever am, I will tell you, but that's very rarely the case because of my very honest uh, reviews about it. Sometimes a bit clumsy. Uh, English socket there for any of you international viewers. That's what a uh, British socket looks like. Basically, you put your tongue. No. no. So it's like 70% box so far. There's this thing, which I believe is actually a pastry cutter. Hello, a pastry cutter. So we can actually get a decent accurate size for the pie. Does that go up? Yep. All right, cool. Oh, nice. Look at this it is ceramic. It's got the old crimp on it. I really want to say crimp my pie, like pimp my ride. Couple plastic thing off. It's not a very long cable on it, but other than that, it's pretty robust. I quite like it. So I'm going to give the old uh, ceramic plate a wash. Oh, we're actually going to go all out. I don't know if any of you guys ever season your pans, but apparently we are supposed to uh, season this. So a little bit of oil and then wipe it clean. So just literally a smidgen. Actually half of my fear of this is how we're going to get it out. It's going to be this lovely warm pie and I've got this vision of it flopping everywhere. All right, just, it seems um, pretty straightforward in that we um, use this. It's actually got two uh, groove. You see the groove there? So there's a slightly smaller lid. Uh, and then the wider bit. So the wider bit apparently is calculated enough for the base, the bottom part, uh, and it's got slits in it. So you can actually, as you cut it, you can maybe overlap it a little bit. And the smaller bit would be uh, the lid. Now pastry, sometimes when you fill uh, a pie, for example, with uh, filling, it can sort of lower down. So I'll be interested to see how this works. I might have to press it a little bit uh, into the mold, but other than that, I think we're ready to go. For the pie, I'm going to use some ready-made uh, short crust pastry. You can easily make your own, but today I'm going to make just the fill-in. Uh, in fact, we've actually got all the ingredients for their apple pie, which also contains blueberries. I've never had an apple pie with blueberries in. I've done it with raisins and stuff, but we've got cinnamon and nutmeg, all that stuff here. Uh, so without further ado, let's quickly make an apple pie filling.
All right, so my pie filling is uh, just cooling down. I'll drain it off so it's not too wet uh, for a sieve in a bit, but you don't need to worry about that. I'm not sure why they said about adding the blueberries. It got squished, but it's made him a nice red color. So uh, my green apples now look like red apples. It smells amazing. I'm sure it will taste good and nice and softened. Uh, let's get the pastry into this. Do, 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 do. It does say to make sure it's not too thick. Uh, so I think that should be about right. Just don't want it to stick, you know. So this is our bottom one. And press that in. All right. Oh, that comes away really nicely. I'll reuse that to do the top. Oh, wow. Can you see the lines on there that it's done? You see the lines? Yeah, that apparently helps to sort of tuck it in. So let's do that. All right. Oh, that's quite good. Yeah, the, the cut marks make it so you can sort of overlap it a little bit and it does allow for a little bit of shrinkage. So I'm just gonna try and make sure that it's sort of evenly stacked around it. See? So now we need to add our filling in. All right, I, oh, these apples are so soft, they smell amazing, but I really like the color the blueberries have done to that. When I was cooking those apples up earlier, it did feel like quite a lot, but they do sort of shrink down to size. Yeah, I think that might be slightly over three quarters full, but I'm not gonna go any more than that. And I've got quite a lot of the filling left, so uh, maybe I can make two pies. All right, so the top groove. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Okay. Oh, wow. So apparently we just give it a little press in to seal it because it should crimp it for us anyway. So normally I'd like egg wash this to help seal it, but the crimp should do it. I'm just going to follow the instructions generally on the packet because it has said not to pierce the top and I would normally do that. Just got some beaten egg here, so I'm going to give it an egg wash so we can kind of help to seal that in. But this is more for a colour thing really. And also we're going to sprinkle it with some sugar so that'll help it grip to it. This is up there with the strangest pie I've made, other than the clear lemon meringue pie actually. Uh, yeah, I might be doing a clear cherry pie next week or if you've got any ideas for other clear pies, I just thought the idea of a cherry pie with a clear base, but with the cherries on top might look really cool when you slice it, so. Shake some sugar on top. Oh yeah. And I think we're ready to cook it. The only downside for me so far is that on their uh, box, for example, they've got an actual like leaf on their pie. So you can't do that. That'd be amazing if you could imprint that, I suppose. I could cut a leaf out, couldn't I? All right, granted it's not the best leaf in the world. I'm gonna leaf it right there, Way, But it does have a curved top on here, so I'm hoping uh, it's gonna work. Cook for around 25 to 30 minutes in the pie maker or until golden brown. I don't know why, but for some reason I thought this was gonna take like five minutes, but no, it is a pie. Uh, let's do it, I've got some tidying up to do anyway. So down this goes. I need to put some weight on that. Ah. Oh, and clip it in. Okay. I think we just crimped our pie. <laughs> Power on, watch for the red light. Oh yes, red light. Uh, because obviously you don't want to preheat it and then try and build your pie. You'd be like. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's it. I'm going to probably keep my eye on it, give you a little update in a minute, but it should take, as it says, 25 to 30 minutes. So the light is still red at the moment. It'll alternate between uh, red and green as it cooks, just like a sandwich toasty maker. It's just all about the cooking time now. It's just a way that it maintains uh, the temperature. But a little bit of housekeeping, if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button to be notified of all new uploads and suggest any recipes you want to see. And of course, don't forget to check out the Kitchen Gadget playlist. Have a marathon uh, hours of entertainment, which you guys absolutely love. So really appreciate it. We are five minutes in and it is sizzling away now. And the thing that I've got is I don't know. I, I wish I had a see-through lid or a little peephole. Like I could just see what the color, what it's doing. I've got this fear that I'm going to open it up and it's gonna be this, like, this black pie, um, like burnt to a crisp. It's smelling good, it's kind of moaning, but I just wish I knew what was going on in there. 
we're just gonna play it as it is, just take it straight up and hopefully do what most of you guys would do. All right, we're now about 15 minutes in. That initial craziness, there's a still a bit of smoke coming back actually, but it was mental at the start, but now it's all right. I hope my leaf's gonna survive though. All right, just about to hit 20 minutes and it started to bubble quite a bit, Boston Amy. You got any tips? Brilliant. Look, see? I think it's sort of burst. Some of the filling is coming out the sides. I'm gonna have a look. Oh! That's kind of... It's kind of worked. It's burnt the top bit. So give it like another minute. Yeah, I'm not gonna overdo this, I don't think. Like, I'm gonna burn the top. Yeah, some of the filling is starting to come out the sides. I think I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna go for it. Wow, that is <laughs> insanely hot. I quite like it. That's got like a nice, if I had an apple pie like that with a nice sort of, do you know what I mean? When you sort of caramelize something, not burnt, um, there is a, the leaf looks a little burnt, but like the the really golden brown edges, that little bit of extra flavor. And the cool thing is now, cause there's still heat in the bottom plate, it's gonna warm through, cause I'm gonna let it cool down completely in there. It's just this top plate is not gonna scorch the top anymore. Like this sugar filling right there, if I touch that, it's gonna be like putting my finger in a volcano, insanely hot. So, uh, Let's just leave it here forever. Can we just eat it out of this? Look, 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 look. And get under it. Oh, yes. I think it's gonna come out. Right, let's do it. All or nothing, folks. It all just feels a bit weird because there's a socket lying around. Oh! <laughs> Pie. 3.14, no, something, pie, yes. Look, it's actually cooked on the sides as well. Yes. <sighs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah, the, the actual bottom is cooked nice as well. And it's all gone nice and squishy and compact. Oh. <whistles> this is actually really, really good. Get a load of that. I mean, I think my mixture might have been a little bit too wet, but this has massive potential. I really like this. Oh my word. That's great. It's cooked it through. It's just a pie, but it's, it's actually blown away my expectations. This is actually a really good gadget. And as you know, that doesn't happen that often. They're either amazing or they're pretty pants and dangerous. So there we go, the uh, tower. I'm sure there are other brands available. Ceramic Pie Maker is amazing. I really, really like it. So don't forget to have a marathon now. Check out the rest of the gadget videos. If you've seen any cool gadgets, just like someone spotted this one, get in touch. I'll get hold of it and we'll have some fun. Bye.